Um, hello, people of the internet. I'm Jantje and I'm autistic. And, well, I've debated making today's topic for a long time because it is quite a controversial topic. But I'm, I've decided I'm making it and hiding it in a bunch of other videos. So there you go. <laughs> anyway, and of course the topic which seems to be a generally controversial topic, is gender. Yes. Um, yeah. Gender is weird, generally. And also, to a large part, a social construct. Wow. At least to the point, at least, even if you generally don't subscribe to that theory, don't, you know, leave mean comments just yet, please. Um, it's a social construct in the sense that how one is suspect, expected to act, being a certain gender, whatever that means, um, is a social construct, which we can know quite clearly because other societies have different ways in which uh, genders, which however many there are, are expected to act. So obviously that part at least is a social construct. But you know, what does it have to do with autism? Well, um, as autistic people, we're not necessarily very good at knowing about social situations so social constructs can be a bit difficult to you know understand <laughs> which can sometimes not be a problem because we just ignore whatever social construct there was maybe supposed to be because we didn't realize it existed or maybe just you know confused it with um, with something else but, you know, gender being one and specifically being a social construct that is very much discussed a lot in certain spheres of people. Um, you know, that can lead to a bit of complications in a way. Because, well, you know, if you don't, can't deal with social constructs very well and they don't really come naturally for you and then you need to apply one to yourself well that can get a bit complicated and difficult so that's actually sort of the point where some people ha some autistic people have you know created a word for that for that specific idea of where Autistic people meet the idea of gender and specifically the social construct that is gender and that is how you're supposed to act being a certain gender or what gender you feel as whatever that means. I don't know. Um, and that is the term that they have sort of created for that is arty gender which i know if anyone's ever looked up it has a lot of discussion going around it and a lot of people don't understand it um but that's that seems to be generally what it is supposed to be it's not it's usually not even supposed to be or i who personally identifies as or for whom it is part it is part of my identification and it's not even supposed to be like it's it doesn't mean like the the gender is autism it means that my autism prevents me from knowing what that gender is because the part of me that does not understand co social constructs and specifically the co social construct of gender or sort of generally, you know, human society doesn't understand 
that and can't apply that to myself and therefore I don't know and instead of I don't know I've or we've or the part of the artistic community has created that word <laughs> sorry cat what was that did you fall down did I scare you hmm is that so surprising <laughs> yeah oh I'm sorry so yeah that's what that means that's sort of the problem with gender and being autistic in a way um, and of course not all autistic people have that problem so don't but some you know do <laughs> and therefore it's very nice to have a word for that because it's well describing things with words is generally uh, something that humans do quite a lot so it's not really surprising that humans have created a word for things they encounter <laughs> So, I know, I, I guess if you wanted to summarize this video in about five words or something, it's probably, it's ambiguous, get over it. <laughs> um, but I'm trying to make this video as short as possible and not ramble on forever about why it's com how it's complicated and that it's complicated so i think we will end here hello cat and i if you have enjoyed this video and maybe learned something new or it has made you think about something which i would appreciate if it did then i would also appreciate it if you could leave a like on this video or maybe even subscribe if you would like to see more videos you know made by me and this cat um and then i will if you're subscribed hopefully see you tomorrow for day nine of april and autism acceptance month and whatever else you can call it bye <laughs>